What's up with it? It's your boy Make Fly Man, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. And welcome back to the landing strip, man. Today we're coming at you with another unboxing. We got a couple pair of new balances, man. The first time around on this channel that I've ever reviewed two shoes at one time. If this is your first time over here in the land of McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button before you exit the premises. We're currently on the road to 5K, trying to get that by December 31st. So if everybody sub up, man, we can go ahead and get that done. Who has the heat? Starring me, myself, Eat Money Shoes, 313 Retro Queen, and PM Kicks. Um, season four is about to start, so if you want to get in on that, man, you can go ahead and sign up at the Who Has the Heat IG page. We can go ahead and get you locked in, and um, you can battle for the crown, man, to head into um, Clash of Champions. You know what I'm saying? For the last on season five, so it is what it is. But um, today we got two shoes, man. We got some uh, Mountain Wild New Balance Five Seven Fives. We have this colorway and this colorway they're both the same model so i didn't really feel a need to um do the reviews individually but i figured i'd show them to you i know a lot of people like new balance these are the first new balances on the um channel so it is what it is man let's uh take some time here and let's get into it Alright man, we got you locked and loaded on this close-up action for all my real verse fakers. Um, New Balances ain't putting a lot of uh, specifics on these labels, man. But um, both of these labels are pretty much identical on the pairs. Not too much difference in them at all. Um, box says made in England since 1982. Got your British flag on the back and all that. New balance on the side. Um, these shoes retailed, I couldn't believe it, retailed for a uh, whopping $220 on these Mountain Wilds, man. That was a bit much, I felt, but uh, boom. Both shoes back on, the, uh, back on the table, man. We got two colorways. As you can see, we've got this uh, navy blue and gray, similar to a Georgetown colorway. And then we have the purple, teal, and black, similar to a uh, Charlotte Hornet colorway. <laughs> Just putting that out there. For those of y'all who don't know, I am Charlotte, North Carolina, born and bred. Um, these are the 575 models, um, to be exact. And um, I hadn't seen these shoes before, but they were uh, brought to my attention, and I kind of dig the way they look. So I figured, you know, why not review them? People want to see New Balances too, right? Comment down below, man, if you rock with New Balance, if you uh, ever had a pair of New Balance. I've had a couple pair of New Balances in my lifetime, but I haven't had any lately. I think once in high school, I had a pair of all white leathers, man, and those things, woo, with my joints, man. I probably should get another pair of those, but at any rate, it is what it is. I guess it'll be easier to describe the Georgetown one first, so. <laughs> we gonna go with, we're gonna go with it man so the shoe is dominant uh gray blue with uh some white trimming as you can see um you've got a couple different materials on here um you've got some suede uh you've got some mesh you've also got some what feels like synthetic leather on the shoe as well um i guess we'll start well we'll start at the toe starting at the toe your actual toe cap it's gray suede. Um, then here on the actual toe portion is mesh up there. Comes into your gray suede here with your mesh tongue. And on the tongue, it says uh, Trail 575 New Balance. Made in England. You got a nice little uh, tag right there for all my tag folks. Um, on this one, I can actually show you the inside tag too. Boom, they come with several pairs of laces. You got a gray lace and a uh, pink lace that comes with it. Black insole, with your New Balance branding in there. Boom, 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 boom. Sock liner is gray, as you can see there. Boom, good. 
flip it around to your back, you have this black patch here. This is suede as well with your New Balance branding up here on the, what's that, brown? Brown and pink. It's your brown and pink here, brown patch, uh, pink stitching. I didn't even notice that. That's a pretty decent touch though. Then you also have the pink here on your 575. Um, your New Balance in is a uh, synthetic leather with white trim. Uh, not a bad look on that. That side panel is actually gray suede with your uh, with your mesh underneath. As you can see it there, I hope the camera's picking it up pretty good. Then you get into your sole here, which is uh, Rev Light technology. I don't know too much about Rev Light. I'm, I'm not gonna hold you. So I don't know <laughs> how comfortable it is or not comfortable it is. But new balances have always been comfortable, so. I would assume that it's still a comfortable shoe, but I, it's tripping me out that it's like half and half. Like the back side to the middle is gray, and from the middle to the front is white. It's kind of neat um, how they did that. Looking at your sole, it's, uh, is that black or is that navy blue? So it's black with your gray hits. This kind of looks like blue up here at the toe with that blue, gray, black, or maybe black, black, gray. I don't know. Colors are playing mind games with me. And then here it says Vibram Mega Grip. So yeah, these are definitely like trail shoes for sure. You got all the grip in the world. So solid pair of shoes, man. I definitely, um, bust that out for uh, casual wear, but 220 is, is a bit much. Now, on this joint, you got what I'm calling the uh, Charlotte Hornets pair. Same concept, uh, suede on the toe cap, suede on the back. Um, your mesh here is teal. Uh, coming into your tongue portion here, that's gray. You have the teal mesh tongue, also with your trail 575 branding here on the actual tongue. Um, gray on the inner with the uh, white insole with the New Balance brand. It looks like a tree or something on it. Um, the only difference is this time your actual lace cages on this pair here, they're white and they're actually leather. Both sides, white, leather on that end. Your New Balance logo is actually gray, still synthetic with the white trim, and that side panel, it's purple, which was a, an incredible hit for the uh, shoe, wrapping around to your back. This one, you have a uh, blue tab with your purple stitching on it, as you can see, swaying on the back, a little uh, black flip motion. They came with uh, gray laces in them, but you also have a pair of white laces and a pair of blue, gray, and white laces. So New Balance is definitely decking you out <laughs> with, the, with the laces without a doubt. You got three pair of laces in these and uh, this pair. And coming to your actual sole, oh man, that's dope. You've got the uh, black and purple with your white undertones with that same yellow Vibram hit see that's clean man that's super clean uh let me know in the comments how you feel about these shoes man do you rock with the 575 model it's white on this one it was pink on the other one um it's actually got a couple tags on this shoe let's see what the tags say this particular tag says made in england 1982 committed to uk manufacturing since 1982 cardboard like they took it straight off the box this other one is like a pamphlet and it says high performance outsole for high performance footwear and it's got a whole breakdown in here materials durable light and flexible enough to move with the foot vibram high quality rubber compounds after the highest endurability along with the maximum grip and traction okay <laughs> it's about six more bullet points in there and I'm not gonna read them all but it is what it is, man, solid shoe. This one on your midsole actually has the gray and white um, as well, half and half. Both sides, uh, lateral and medial. So be sure to drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel about New Balances, man. If you're into these, you wanna see more reviews like this, just let me know, man. We'll 
do our best to keep them coming for you. And that's pretty much all she wrote, man. And until next time, it's your boy McFly. <laughs> I'll let you.